Welcome back to Seal from the Heart Creation, where creating is a process of the mind. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I design my own t-shirt and included a 3D puff HTV. And this is how the t-shirt going to look, of course. And it says, love myself, period, with a big old heart, a puff heart. So, in today's video, I'm going to be using some, I want to say that the name is v Vinal, and that's V-E-E-N-Y-L. And that's the shop that it came from. And it's a 3D puff. And with the puff, you put the shiny side up instead of turning it down. And because I'm making a heart, a heart shape, you don't have to mirror. And then I'm going to be using this sheet here of Carriage HTV. Both of these HTVs were ordered off of Amazon. And I'm going to be using a Gildan 100% heavy cotton white t-shirt. I'm going to be making my design, or should I say creating my design in Cricut Design Space. And I'm going to be printing it out on a Cricut Maker 3. I'm going to be using a Tycolette 8 in 1 heat press, and it's a swing arm. And we're going to, the puff is to be heated at 285 for 15 seconds, in which I will add that last. And you can peel that with a warm touch. The Vanel, I'm sorry, the um, Carrigy HTV you have to wait 45 seconds for it to cool before you pull the transfer off and this of course is sunny uh, shining side up excuse me it's the shiny side down process with this and you will be mirroring this here design so without further ado let's head on over to the computer so that i can show you the particular design that I did create for this t-shirt that I'm doing today. We are now in Cricut Design Space and you are looking at the design that I had created. I was just playing around with the, the fonts and what I wanted to say and I came up with love myself, period. And I decided to put a puff heart, 3D puff heart, on the shirt as well. And how I came up with this creation is by using and playing around with text. I'm going to hide this and try to recreate it. Because like I said, I was just playing with it. And what I did was I took out a shape. I'm sorry. I took out... A text box and I just typed love and then I closed that text box and I made another one. Let me move this up. And I made an, I got a grab hold to another text box. And I said myself. Did another text box. And I put period. Oops. 
let's cover all of that and an apostrophe and then what I did was I went into love and I decided I wanted to curve it a little bit so I curved it let's go the other way and I took that love and I kind of like swung it up some then with myself I did the same thing I just curved it a little bit brought it up some and then with the period I did the same thing I hit curve and I curved it a little bit this one going down actually and I just kept playing around with it until I got something that I liked and pretty much this was this is about as close as it gonna get to what I did then I grabbed all of that let me pull this come back out grab the heart let me hide that so that we can go ahead and just work with the text okay, let me highlight all the text bring that over and what I did was I changed the color to what I liked to make it look a little bit better let me bring this down some bring this down a little bit that looks about right there and then I just grabbed it all and I welded it together and that's all I did with it and I made it smaller let's just attach it hold up then what I did was I just made it smaller so that's as close as I'm gonna get to what I did create but as you can see I just played with the letters and um, well I actually played with the words and I created created this design that I'm about to print tonight so we're gonna get rid of that and I'm gonna go about go back here and turn both of these the heart and the sand eyes open and I'm gonna click make it we should have two boards and I would pretty much say that your your green mat will be good for both of these but given that I don't have you know um, my green mat functionable tonight I use a standard and a no-name brand for the heart and I used the strong grip for the same and I had to put tape painters tape all around it in order to hold it because my mats aren't really that good <laughs> isn't that something so I'm using a mat I'm gonna hit continue I'm gonna bring my heart down some because I already have something on there and I didn't want it to print on there it was a mistake so I'm just going to bring it down because I want my heart to, to actually cut down a little further. And again, with the 3D puff, you put the shiny side up and you put the matted side down. Again, I don't have to mirror this because it's a heart. So it doesn't matter if you mirror or not. But I'm going to go ahead to my number two board and I am going to mirror this image and I want to make sure that I get everything so I'm moving this over a little bit and coming down some to make sure that all of my wording is actually going to be placed on the HTV and we're going to go ahead and print this out and then I'll come back and weed it out so that you can see 
how easy it is to weed out and then we'll head over to the heat press all right okay i took the liberty to cut everything down i started peeling off my heart already and i'm just going to use my little pen and pull this back go ahead and cut this off again because I do want to try to save that little bit for maybe some little designs that I can do okay I can say this portion here Cut that off of there. So now we're going to go ahead and take this off. I cut this down as best as I can. Here we go. Oh, this is glitter, y'all. This is real tough. And when I say tough, I mean tough. I don't like how this is peeling off. And then you got to do a whole heap of pulling. But I would imagine it's going to look real good. Let me set this to the side for the moment. It's going to look real good on that t-shirt, but you got to be careful with it. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to peel this up. I don't want you to watch me struggle with this. I hear my heat press is ready. So we'll just go ahead and see you after I finish peeling this off. Okay, I finally was able to pull that vinyl off of there. Now, the instruction says for glitter that you use the standard blade. But me personally, I would probably um, run that through twice on the deepest um, cut I can get. Because that was really a hassle getting all of that off. Um, I have arthritis in my hand, so I had to grip it in a way that I really didn't enjoy. So our temperature is almost set at, at the time it's supposed to be, which is 302 for 15 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and put my parchment paper on top. And I'm gonna go ahead and press this down. And this is supposed to actually heat for 15 seconds and then after 15 seconds we have to let it cool for 45 seconds and then we would go ahead and press the heart on there after this has cooled down and I will see you after that is completed to conclude this is how the t-shirt looks. I just love the design. I really do. But what I did notice is that there is a little slit here where I overlaid the transfer sheet. So the next time I won't do that because I want all the puff to come out, but it looks like it's receding a little bit. Yes, it is receding, but I love this. What do you guys think? Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the bell for the next video 
that I will be showing later this week. You, are, you guys have a marvelous day on purpose. Thanks for watching. I love myself. Bye. <laughs>